Good evening, Julie. Good evening, Christine. It's uh, September the 28th, 2023. Time flies. It sure does. And um, I have a few things I would like to talk to you about tonight. Um, I just found out from a neighbor of mine just um, how bad things are down here and what's uh, going on. And he would inform me that uh, about a month and a half ago or so, he was taking his dog out. Now, I've told you, uh, my viewers, many times how uh, that uh, the dogs have been attacked and uh, Heidi's older brother, German Shepherd too, uh, they've been thro taking too. knives to his throat. Well, my neighbor was taking out his dog, which is a Rottweiler. And uh, apparently, um, he was passing the building where I live and where the dealer used to live and where they used to smash his windows in at the basement constantly all the time. Um, they, the two guys came up and were trying to get in, break into the apartment and the basement. And uh, apparently, um, they saw him and as um, he came along, they threatened him with a butcher knife. They pulled a butcher knife on him and the dog. And of course, the dog was trying to get to him, uh, to these two guys that were going, going after him. I think one was white and one was black, a black man and a white man. And um, he had to pull a dog back, and he had to re-threaten them back. Uh, but he's a big guy himself. So he was able to thwart, thwart the, well, stop the attack uh, or anything happening to his dog because he wasn't worried about himself going in the hospital. He said, I was more worried about my dog being slashed. But then this is what we're seeing in the States with the police dogs are either being shot by these guys with the dealers or, or they're being stabbed. So... Like I said, nobody's afraid of this sort of thing that's going on. So I just wanted to sort of update people on that. Uh, an incident certainly wasn't reported to the police from what I understand. And um, But again, we've come back uh, to what's going on with you and the bullying. And how the girls are getting tired of being bullied and by the guys down here. And mm -hmm. what you, you girls are, are thinking of doing because you don't necessarily want to carry knives, but we know that everybody has been carrying a lot of knives. So now the talk on the street is, well, maybe we need to get some bear spray, or maybe we get <laughs> need to get some hot sauce, or yeah, hot sauce for sure, or, bear spray, vinegar, anything strong. Yeah, with a, some kind of a, a squirt gun or a squirt, one of those bottles you can squirt, or even the perfume. So you're talking about, talking literally today about protecting yourselves because why do you, we need to protect ourselves? Because as everyone said, the police are not protecting everyone down here. Why are the police not protecting everyone down here? Because they're getting as frustrated as we are because every time they do arrest or pick up these guys, uh, as uh, it's been said in the past and publicly said, that the courthouse has just got a revolving door in the front, which it does have a revolving door in the front of our courthouse, and they're just in and out. As fast as they're put in, they're just let go on the streets. These uh, mental um, people who are uh, mentally ill, it's very simple. What happens is uh, they're, um, they're not even put in. Like 10, even 10 to 15 years ago, uh, what we were seeing was when they were picked up by the police, they would be taken to the Royal Ottawa or a mental institution, and they'd be kept there for a while. But today, it's just everybody, it's just a free-for-all down here. So it's getting considerably worse down here. So I just wanted to put up a short video today, but I wanted to talk to you about it. But this is a talk on the street I know with the girls right now are, are wondering how they can defend themselves. And this is one of the things that you've been talking about. Yes, yeah, with a couple of my girls on the street. Um, yeah, so how to protect yourself? Because now it's getting worse, like you say, you know. And uh, we need protection because the cops sometimes, they're, they're just fed up with it, you know. So every time I go to the cops, well, they say, well, Julie, we'll do something about it. And then, you know, the next day, well, you know, they're still walking down, uh, down Rito Street, you know, so still harassing me. You know, so those two guys uh, have been around for at, least for, for at least a year and they're just harassing me uh, day and night. Oh, I know. Then they come up and they kick your bags. And that too. Uh, that yes. too. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the same ones. You know, and they want to be uh, whatever, you know, they want to be uh, bikers, supposedly, but they're not. And the way Oh, so uh, they try to claim that they're bikers? Yeah, yeah, you know, but they're bullying girls down the street. So I don't believe a, a, a thing that they say, you know, and their little shirt, well, it doesn't scare me either. Because uh, they, they, you know, yeah, you know what, I'm pretty sure there's more victims uh, out oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of victims because this is what I, I'm still seeing. I mean, yes, in some ways it's cleaned up, it's getting better, um, but... In other ways, it's not getting better. No. I know the city is trying, 
But this has got so far out of hand. So far out, yeah, so far out. But it's pretty yeah. bad when the girls have to complain and say, how do we protect ourselves? You know, and I think I'm like, I'm grateful for having Heidi, but Heidi's not there to attack people. My service no, dog. No, she's a beautiful dog. She's soft, you know. You, you know, know but, she's but there to me. help me walk. And that's what she does with the arthritis is she helps me walk for my mobility issues. Mm, so but, I don't want to see her get attacked because she's such a sweet dog. Exactly. It would hurt my feelings too, you know. But but I feel bad for, for the girls down the street too. But, it, you know, yeah, you know, but they, 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 they just come around to do that to me too. But they know I'm a tough girl, you know. I am. I, I can defend myself, uh, my, myself, you know. But I mean, you know, to a certain point, you know. Well, because that's what I was. Two, I, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It comes to a certain point. I mean, that's if you've used your voice, that's why you're so loud. That's your defense system. Yes, it and is. It's, when, and when, and, when it's, my, and my, it's protected you pretty well over the yes, years. Yes, it did over the years. Yeah, you know, screaming or talking loud or, or, or calling them names, or just back off. And, you know, you know. So my voice is already out. Yeah, you know, but the point is, you know, but when it comes physical on me, oh my God, okay, really? Now, well, now it's time uh, uh, to go to the to the station, you know? I know, and you try to talk to the police. And uh, three, four times, you know? But, but I know, and I know, I know the police know you very well on the street, and they've seen yeah. you changing, and I've seen you changing, and everyone yeah. down here has seen you changing. Of course, you know, you know? Uh, and they don't, I don't have any, uh, any record either, you know? But uh, Julie, I think uh, they spotted him the last time. And uh, four or five cops now, I, uh, you know, it went to their ears now, and I'm pretty sure, though, they're, they're going to check for them this time. So, Well, yeah, these uh, guys that are attacking you because you're so physically fit, and uh, like I said, and most of the other girls, they're on drugs, they're weaker, a lot weaker than you are, and they're attacking them, but for them to even try to attack you is like them trying to attack a German Shepherd or a Rottweiler. There you go. <laughs> exactly. You know. But those guys, they, they like to challenge me because they know I'm well fit, you know, and, you know, and they know I don't do bad, bad things around. But but they like to, you know, yeah, they like to, you know, yeah, yeah, they don't like the tough girls. They they want to be tougher than me, you know. Well, like but I said, it, I didn't want to. Yeah, I don't want to keep this video too long. No. But I just wanted to sort of update people on where people are thinking that if the city can't protect us, our police cannot protect us, how do we protect ourselves? I go. mean, there's a lot of discussion on the street right now. Is how and challenging a lot, a lot of times. Tough girls like me. Yeah. You know, so, so they have so to So there's stop. a lot of talk, talk right now on the street on the between the girls right now of just how do we protect ourselves. You know, the ones that can, but as soon as they dope them up and they're down or they're drunk, they can't even defend themselves. Exactly. So... But me, but me, because I'm always sober, and you know, it's like it's, it's like good luck coming with me, because now you're like you know what do I say? I'll talk so loud. Yeah, and, but the ones like you, away. but the girls like you on the streets that are not doing the drugs or the alcohol, are the ones that are also being bullied. So they're talking among themselves of just how do they protect themselves, you know? Yeah, because exactly. you know, what do you do? Go take a self defense course. Now, how do you pay for that? Yeah, yeah. How do I pay for that? Yeah, but you know what though? I, 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 I just need to defend myself. But I, I think I'll talk about the. Yeah, you know, um, I want to take the course, and uh, just to protect myself. Yeah, I don't care about the money wise, yeah. but it, it's time for me just to go for a course and, and learn some some self defense, Christine. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here, and I hope my uh, viewers can pick up on this and. Uh, Really start thinking about yes, girls, defend what we need to do with our politicians and how we need to start keeping our streets safer. There you and, go. And thank you again for coming in and talking to me, Julie. And we'll right, talk to you, you again soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, Take bye -bye. care. Self-defense.